Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy Legend 3! Last time, we got the laser weapon for the town there, so let's equip that, and let's go looking for that Excalibur at the village of Jaco. And also, last time, some of you noticed that Arthur was a different transformation. That's because, well, I gained a level there. Well, that's an interesting weapon there. It kind of distorts their molecules, I guess. I don't know. Eh, I just thought I'd show you that because, I'll be honest, this is probably the only battle that I'm ever going to use the laser weapon. They give us the next one, uh, not immediately after, but pretty darn close. And I'm just going to rely on Gloria casting Lightning X, whatever. We're going to be getting some pretty good stuff coming up here, so let's take these guys out and make it on over there. Oh, come on! How does a spell miss? I mean, I suppose it's a wheel that's on fire. Fire? Maybe it's moving pretty fast there. Uh, I don't know. Nah, I don't care to upgrade my cyborg. Not until level 27. Then we get some pretty good stuff. Oh, I got a nice little ice village. Sort of, I guess. I like ice areas. I gotta have more of them in video games. Uh, no, not yet. I just got here. We'll have to find out where they put it. Let's see. Oh, they got a nice little family here with one bed. I guess the other two sleep on chairs. Oh, so that's that must be like one of the mystic swords. Okay, we'll keep an eye out for those items there. Um, you're just a kid. He even looks like one of those kids in Link's Awakening. Sort of, I guess. Uh, are you hiding under the bed? Hey, get out of there. Oh! Oh yeah, this is the family from the last game. Remember at the end, they were looking for the Lost Ark? Well, that's them! Alright, that's a nice little cameo there. I like it. They gotta do that more in video games. Just little things like that. Nothing too ma major every time. Oh, okay, well I'm just gonna pack up my bags and leave. Oh, yeah, yeah, we got, we got her though. Yeah, yeah, I was kind of there to rescue her. This guy is Masa, huh? Or Masa... Whatever. I guess I had to shorten the name to four letters. I'm just gonna raid your storeroom here, if you don't mind. Must be where he keeps his uh, Y2K rations. Or whatever's left over from that. So what are they calling 2012? Y2.012K? Something like that? Ah, oh, well we already got one of them. The other Mystic Sword, I guess, is the Masmune, huh? Well, there we go! You gotta find all of them, I guess. Well, you don't have to, but it's a good idea. Ah, oh, so he just trusted a random stranger with this information to give to us. Okay, well, we'll have to head on there next. Uh, okay, that's everything we can do there. Let's get some more appropriate music for drawing the Excalibur. Well, that was easy. Yeah, I thought that music would be a little more appropriate since it's kind of anticlimactic. I mean, it's the best weapon in the game, or one of the best, and, you know, that's it. It's just like, shoot, oh, there we go. We got it. Yay! You know, I mean, no boss or anything for it. Whatever. And they give it to us before we get the other Mystic Swords, which aren't as powerful. It's kind of weird, but whatever. Anyway, definitely give the Excalibur to Curtis there. Yeah, look at that HP and attack boost. That's pretty good there. Okay, well, let's talk to Masa again now that we've gotten that Excalibur. I wonder if he's going to give us something else. Uh, yeah, we're going to teach those masters a lesson. A math lesson. How many mystic swords can you fit into a master? One, two, three, four. Oh, Masa, he's one of the four crew members for the talent. Yay! We got all the crew members for the town now. They've been reunited. So, let's see what he can do for us, along with Juba there. There's only one other place that we haven't been to yet, and that's Poral. I suppose I'll have to go back to Cirrus, too, but yeah. Oh, and yeah, the, the, the equipment guys can use the light and dark crystals, whereas all those elemental crystals can only be used for magic there. He sells some weapons. And nothing I'm really interested in there. But for mixing, uh, if you have a human, definitely get a ninja boomerang. It's amazing. And it's not one-to-one -one as far as like what 
you use to forge the equipment. It depends on the weapon or the armor that you get. Nothing I'm going to do for weapons here. But for Juba, oh, he can also mix metal and oil to make uh, something else. We'll get those later. But yeah, he's got a lot of good stuff that we want to buy. We want to get four power gloves and two samurai shields and five bangles. Uh, so obviously, as you can see, <laughs> I'm a bit short on money, but we've got to go back to Cirrus anyway, so maybe we'll run into some enemies on the way there. And But more importantly, though, we can mix some new equipment here. We've got uh, mirror gloves, nothing I care about there. Speed boots, those are pretty nice, but I don't think so, at least not right now. Do I get them later? I don't think I do. No, no, I don't. But the other ones that are actually, in my opinion, worth getting are the armlets, which I'm not going to, but they protect you from instant death, which isn't exactly a status ailment, but they do work, and they have maximum magic defense, so that's pretty nice. But what I am actually interested in is the speed shield. I want to get two of those because they have maximum magic defense for a shield, and uh, the next best shield that you can buy, it has like far, well not far less, but more less than anything else. So I really like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, well I'm going to rest up here, and I'm going to go back to Cirrus to go get that pass then. All right, we're all set and ready to go. So, uh, yeah, you know what? I'm just going to meet you back there since uh, I, you can figure out how to get there yourself. All right, we've made it back to Cirrus with... Or Cyrus, or I think it's Cirrus, how you pronounce it. But, yeah, we got the Excalibur, so yay! And we get the pass. All right. Now, there's one more thing I want to buy before heading to Coral, and that is a diamond helmet. I want to get that for Arthur. I'll explain why when I get over there. So I'm just going to go... I'll go over to Naya. That's a good place to buy it. All right, we're back at Naya here. Uh, I just came here just because it was here at the diamond helmet. So I just wanted to quick show you the new stuff that we got. We got the speed shield has pretty good defense and magic defense, but more importantly, it gives you plus five agility. It's, I think it's the only shield in the game that gives you a speed boost, so that's very nice. That's gonna stick with him for the end of the game. Part of the reason why I got the diamond helmet for him is because, well, let's give the power gloves on Arthur there. That's best uh, defense for gloves, and it gives you plus five strength. Now, anyway, part of the reason why I have the diamond helmet is because you wanna have some sort of diamond equipment on for the ice and tornado protection. And, well, Helmet is the best one, I think, to do that with for Arthur there, because everything else kind of has to stick on him for speed or power boosts or whatnot. So I think that's the best way to go there. Let's see, Bangles, I only got, they, they give you protection from mute, but I don't care. I only got them for the magic defense. That's the only reason, really. Let's see, what else did I get here? Oh yeah, I got a samurai shield for Sharon there. I only got that for her because I don't have enough crystals to make another speed shield for her. So, soon enough, viewers, soon enough. But anyway, I lied. There's another reason why I came here. I want to take a boat ride to get to Pearl. Oh, sure, I could just fly my way there, but I like boat rides. I like automated means of conveyance. Boats, trains, you name it. I suppose boats aren't exactly... Automated. Oh, this is just an item shop. I thought it was like a real department store, like where they have a whole bunch of stuff there. A crevice, huh? What are these guys anyway? Is that like those fish guys? Oh, and they got a sword unit there, huh? I wonder what that one does. Well, we'll have to find out when we get there. How many more units are there for us to get? Oops, no. Radar. Oh, only one. Hmm. In the upper world, I guess they called it. Yeah, I suppose I could have shown that earlier, but well, they would have kind of spoiled that there's an underworld, naturally, if there's an upper world. Oh, right, right. We can't get there. Anyone interesting in here? No one! Anyone interesting in this house? Maybe Diane's staying in one of these houses. Oh, okay. Yeah, it just doesn't, it doesn't just work for water hags or whoever we were talking to earlier. It's filled with danger, danger, danger. Can I jump over him? No, no, I can't. Well, we're not human. I don't think any of us are human, but Dion is. Yay, he's back. 
And we get Diane's theme, all right. Hey, how's it going? I don't know what that means. It doesn't say anything about that ever again, but whatever. Yeah, yeah, we're going to let the ladies stay back at uh, the town there. And Diane is going to rejoin us for us to go through the underworld next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy Legend 3. This is H.C. Bailey signing off. Have a good day. Whoa, that's freaky music here. I like it.